My name is uh, Sani Nikamau Maina. I'm the executive director in the south of uh, anti tiger campaign in East Africa. I visited my home area uh, in the year 2007 and I found a very serious issue of people with tigers. I found children, I found old people who cannot be able to leave their homes with a lot of tigers. The kids could not go to school, the elderly could not even go to their farms. They, they could not be able to even leave their homes. And uh, that's when I decided to talk about the Jiga menace. Initially, it was, it was very, very hectic, trying to sell the idea to people. People thought that uh, talking about Jiga is embarrassing. Others thought that I was trying to raise money through the campaign. Other people thought that I'm trying to buy for uh, a political seat, and that's why I was trying to bring up the issue of Jiga. I started the campaign with three families and so far the campaign has grown that I've been able to register more than 2.7 million Kenyans who are jigger infested. What I discovered is that most of these people with jiggers, they live in very poor states in their homes. They don't have any sanitation equipment, they cannot afford a basin, they cannot afford a pin, they cannot afford even shoes, they don't even have water in their home. And that's when I set up the first centre in Moranga where the centre offers treatment, it offers fumigation, we go to their home, we fumigate, we give them clothes and shoes, we give them food, we educate the people on hygiene, we also help uh, schools come up with hygiene clubs, and when the people recover from Jiga infestation, we have rehabilitate them back to their normal life. We have uh, so far opened 41 centres in Kenya, we have gone beyond the borders, we have opened one more centre in Uganda and another centre in Tanzania. These centres have been very, very successful because as we are talking today, we have been fully able to treat and rehabilitate over 200,000 people. For the children who have recovered from Jigas, we provide them with books, school equipment, shoes and they go back to school. Others will even pay for them school fees. For the adults, we discovered that Jigas is a, is a result of poverty. We had to look for a way that we are going to, uh, to break the poverty cycle. And that's where we have started for them a beekeeping project. We have also started for them a banana planting project where they can be able to feed for their families as well as gain some income. Because as a hard Kenya, the ultimate is to eradicate poverty in the East African region.